Something hit the news desk yesterday. Something smacked all of us NHL fans. All of us. I don't even want to say hardcore anymore because I feel like everybody uses this tool. Guys, cap friendly. That's right. The successor to Cap Geek is on its final legs. And that is not due to the website having any issues, to them having any funding issues. No, like National Hockey League GMs and front offices use this site. Like if you guys look at any, you know, behind the scenes features, whether it's your own team producing it, whether it's HBO, Sportsnet, ESPN, whatever. Guys, rewatch some. You'll see that a lot of the time, general managers on their computer will have, if you can see their computer screen anyways, in the shot, cap friendly open. It is such a huge tool. It is one of like the big pillars of reference points and tools, not only for NHL fans, like I said, but people who actually work in the industry, who work within the game, NHL and Shoot, lower levels as well. Everybody learning about each team. Hockey DB, Elite Prospects, and Cap Friendly are the big three. Crazy news. And it was actually, I got to give a shout out to my friend Dylan. He texted me a screenshot of the headline and was like, what the fuck is this? And my response was exactly the same. What is going on? Is this a power move? Let's just get right into it. Ladies and gentlemen, the Washington Capitals of the National Hockey League have reached an agreement to purchase Cap Friendly, the website. Yes, a National Hockey League team, not just Ted Leonza and one of his various companies, Ted Leonza being the owner of the Washington Capitals and various Washington professional sports teams, the Capitals themselves have purchased the site. Now, at first I was like, based, he wants to win, he wants to make some money off of this. And the owners are going to get a fat payout, I imagine. But then I saw an article that Elliot Friedman wrote and thus reported on. And it's worse than we thought. Now, I'll preface it with saying fair play to the Washington Capitals. Every National Hockey League team wants an edge. Every team's job, every general manager's job, every front office job, everyone, you know, everyone under the owner, they're working for him. And what does the owner want? He wants to win. Owners of the National Hockey League have so much money they don't even know what to do with. Having a sports team is their shiny toy. You know, it, it's their game that they hope to beat. You know, we all play fucking whatever it is. Counter-Strike, Halo, Fortnite. I don't, I don't know what the kids are playing these days. But why do we play games? To enjoy them, get that dopamine rush, and to win. And a lot of us these days have to pay for a lot of perks in games as well. On a bigger scale, I mean, that's that's an owner of a sports franchise, right? They want to win. They're having fun. They're dishing money to make the experience better and to ultimately help their team win. And that is what the Washington Capitals are doing in this situation. Now, the site will still be active for users and the National Hockey League brass until July. The Washington Capitals wanted the site to be publicly, independently operated through the 2024 draft and and free agency. So it's not expected that the sale will be official until, okay, here it is, until at least July 5th. Neither the team nor Cap Friendly would comment on this, according to Elliot Friedman. Dominic Zrim, who's the website's co-owner and director, does have NHL experience in the past, uh, for what it's worth, ladies and gentlemen, working with both the San Jose Sharks and the Chicago Blackhawks. Now, again, NHL teams, not all of them, but a good chunk of them have actually worked out agreements with Cap Friendly so that they can use their tools and API interface application programming interface. And they recently actually received notice that their contracts would be terminated. So within the greater world of fanatic hockey fans and those working in the National Hockey League, this was an indication that potentially a team was buying the site. And now we know it's the Capitals. Like I said in the opening frame, like you, you can understand why a team would want this infrastructure to use as a competitive advantage. And also so that other teams actually have to do more homework and can't just fire up this site because again general managers front office use this to help to make it easier on them when making big decisions when making moves it's reported that after july 5th or around that date the site will go dark and fans and the brass in front office and national hockey league teams will not be able to use it any longer now will something rise from the ashes 
I imagine so. Is it going to be the same? Is it going to... Is it going to be an adjustment even for fans? Absolutely. Absolutely. Cat Friendly was founded in 2015 after its predecessor, Cap Geek, closed. Cap Geek was, you know, I still sometimes let it slip and say Cap Geek over Cap Friendly. That's how much I used Cap Geek growing up. And it was, it was tragic the way that it closed. Some of you might not know, creator Matthew West, who built this unbelievable site, died of colon cancer. In March of 2015, Cap Friendly became an excellent and the rightful substitute for the fans and media after that. So what's what does this mean? It means the Capitals, A, still are building to win. Now, that might be a crazy statement, but like they've won their cup. They got an older group here. Maybe they see that, you know, the, the Ovechkin era is, is ending and we're going to have to do a full overhaul soon here. Let's not give anybody a competitive advantage. And as a result, I mean, the ricochet effect is the fans are going to you know, suffer is the wrong word. But, you know, we're going to go through a little uh, nerd tor turmoil here until something else pops up. And I'm very interested to see if, if maybe the greater analytic community is going to work together to create something. Or if it's just going to be a freaking arms race. Whose site is going to pick up traction first when multiple ones seem to rise from the ashes? Anyways, huge news here in the National Hockey League. And this story, again, just came out. So there's going to be more to it. And I'm excited to also see where this goes.